the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. They'll run with Crowell. And a nice gain there. It's gonna be taken down just shy of the 20. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, when the Davises and the Gardens get together. <laughs> Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Ben Gideon in there to record another sack, their sixth of the afternoon. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Sheldon Richardson in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Right, yeah, that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot. Con the New York set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Tackle made by Eric Kendricks. The Jets on third down. Two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. They control the clock, they control the ball. And that way, you often control the game. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Emerson Griffin in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. No, oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. 
I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was a type of a chance you want to take. And that one could I very am. easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but there's still a bit. Now back to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. Right, the go. tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. A nice gain of 21 yards. Okay, when the big guy runs a corner route, you're asking a lot, no matter who's covering him. Doesn't matter whether it's a linebacker or a defensive back. Yeah. He usually has the advantage right, because go. of his body type. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. So when I look at my playlist, I'm probably thinking about throwing it. And he's got it. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Chris Herndon with touchdown number seven on the year. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Go, they now. come out here in the eye. They'll drop the throw, and that is incomplete. And now out come the Jets. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion right, and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. And this is caught at the eight. Catch number 44 on the year. It's a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. They'll look to throw here. Escaping the pressure right. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> bad. I don't know about that. <laughs> Super tall. Four down, four down. Hurry up, here we go. And he'll go on the ground. Looking for an opening. Not much there. He'll get it to the 39. The tackle goes there to Linval Joseph. 
Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try to run for it with Corral. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final oh, drive. Go. They'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, now. and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Back to throw. Forced out to his left. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a jet first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. They'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. The completion good for three, and it's second down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. He's back to throw. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Anthony Barr in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. They're going to look to throw. This will be caught inside the 10. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are must. Right, here we go. Boom, landing. They'll set up a throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Linval Joseph in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. All right, here we go. 319! 319! And the blitz does come. And this is caught. He's got it for a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, it's all going to come down to a two-point conversion. We'll break down the touchdown later. It's two-point conversion time. Go to your script, pick your play, and go for it. The Jets will go for two. They were just one for three on two-point conversion attempts last season. One final shot. They'll look to throw. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. 